W E N O T N O on on Twitter, and we we may get we may get some significant or interesting um, tweets during the show. Um, I'm, I'm I'm going to explain it as we go along as a as a story. That's to say, in some sort of sequence. But I, I think there is a there is a situation which interests me, which is the the television uh, that may or may not happen around the Radio One Big Weekend, because last last week the Radio One Academy was in this building, the the Phoenix in Exeter, Phonic FM. This studio is in the basement of that, and my my memory is that there was no mention at all of BBC Four or television. It was as if television had gone um these these are people talking about what happens with their content the the live lounge and so forth and uh offering advice or training for people going into uh creative industry careers and i would i would say mention of um well uh there was there was a guy here from from news night evan, evan davis but I, i'm going to I'm going to mo- leave news out of it a bit. I'll mention news incidentally, but I think the story is mostly about music at the moment. Anyway, I I did buy The Observer on, on Sunday and discovered that BBC Four would have uh, an hour on Saturday night. And then today I've bought a Radio Times and uh, Coldplay are going to be on Sunday night. And that's... That's quite interesting. Um, I'm not. I'm just not sure what the what the thought is behind it all. If the BBC has a, a policy about showing stuff or not showing stuff, depending on the target age ranges or something like that. Uh, anyway, our, twi- our Twitter feed is open, and I'll, I'll be saying more about that in some sort of sequence. But if if you if you have information about that. Or um, if you think that the BBC Four schedule should change, this, that's basically what I think. Um, do do tweet and see 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 what you make of that, and I'll say say a little bit more about the tweets we've we've already had. 